my fun-loving reading friends, it's Ani. I'm so glad you came to read with me. Are you ready for a story? In this video, I'm collaborating with True and the Rainbow Kingdom to read one of their really fun and exciting adventure books. I'll also be reading a book on their channel, so be sure to check out the True and the Rainbow Kingdom channel for lots of fun adventures. I'll link it in the description section below to make it easy. All right, let's get ready to read True's Birthday Party. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. True's Birthday Party. This story is based on the animated TV series True in the Rainbow Kingdom, produced by Guru Studio. It's been adapted and translated by Robin Bright and published by Schwett Publishing. It's True's birthday, and Bartleby has planned the most amazing party ever. True is so excited, she gives him a big hug. Oh, you're the best, Bee, she says. All over the Rainbow Kingdom, preparations are underway. Yetis and critters are gathering the decorations. Rainbow Bus is bringing guests to True's birthday party. But first, Bartleby takes True on a birthday picnic. Ice cream for lunch? Can we do that? asks True. Sure, says Bartleby. It's your birthday! After lunch, Bartleby has another surprise for True. We're going to get you a new birthday suit! After trying on several outfits, True settles on one that includes a cape and some gloves. This one is perfect, says True. In True's kitchen, Griselda is baking a birthday cake. It's vanilla flavored with wiggly jiggly jelly and bubble chew icing. When it comes to the ingredients, more is better, claims Griselda. Princesses don't need recipes. We're amazing at everything we do. But Griselda puts too much bubble chew icing into the pot. There is so much of it that the goo spills onto the street and Rainbow Bus gets stuck in it, causing a terrible traffic jam. True's guests won't be able to make it to the party. Griselda has also used too much wiggle jiggle powder. Oh no! The birthday cake wiggles and jiggles so hard that it causes an earthquake. Trees all over the never-ending forest begin to fall. Time for some wish help, says True. True calls Cumulo to take her and Bartleby to the wishing tree. She listens as True explains the situation. That does sound serious, says Z. Let's sit and have a think. True and Z sit down on the mushrooms. They each take a deep breath. <gasps> First, we need to help the trees get back upright in the never-ending forest, True says. Then we have to get the gooey glob off the streets of Rainbow City. The wishing tree has heard you, True. Z says, it's time to get your three wishes. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. The wishes wake up and spin around true. Three wishes stay with her and the others return to the wishing tree. Very interesting wishes, Z says. I can tell you more about their powers. Let's check the Wishipedia. Lifto can lift anything you place on top of it. Pumpa can blow air into anything. Kakaraka can break large objects into little pieces. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me, True says as she leaves with the wishes in her pack. Back in the never-ending forest, True activates her first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Lifto! Wish come true! She places the wish beneath a fallen tree. Lifto pushes and lifts until the tree is standing up again. Come on, 
Corn Bee, says True. We have to get back to Rainbow City to deal with that gooey, globby mess. When they get to Rainbow Bus, True activates her second wish. Zip Zap Zoo! She inserts Pumpa's nozzle into the gooey glob. Pumpa Power Go! cries True. Pumpa begins to blow out air. The glob inflates into a giant bubble that floats away. The road is clear. Thanks, Pumpa, says True. <laughs> that really blew me away. But there's more trouble with the cake. It won't stop growing. It's too big for the oven and the kitchen and the house, cries Griselda. Suddenly, the giant cake pops out of True's house. It's magnificent. A super huge birthday cake, says True. Oh, B, you shouldn't have, says True. But the cake is so big that it teeters and topples over, right on to Mushroom Town. I'm trapped in a scrumptious Stranilla sponge cake, cries the Rainbow King over Face Bubble. And so are the rest of True's birthday guests. True calls Cumulo to bring her and Bartleby to Mushroom Town. It's time for my third wish, says True once they get there. She activates Kakaraka, who makes the cake explode. Luckily, the guests' decorations and gifts all land safely back down. Everyone is ready to celebrate True's birthday at last. But now there's no birthday cake for True's party. Nothing worked out the way I wanted it to, says Bartleby disappointedly. No, I had a great day, True tells him. Because I spent it with you. But wait, pieces of Stranilla sponge cake are falling from the sky. It's raining cupcakes, True exclaims. Happy birthday, True, everyone shouts. This is even better than the best party ever, says True. With a little help from her friends, True was able to have a really fun and memorable birthday party. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.